Hi, I'm Matt Smith, and today we're going to talk about my Helpwork organ setup. Helpwork is a software program that you can install on a Windows or Macintosh computer to run digital sample sets of pipe organs from all over the world with a quite realistic sound quality. It's possible to set up help work with a set of one, two, or more MIDI keyboards and a MIDI pedal board and produce a high quality practice instrument at home for potentially very low cost. So let's go take a look. I have a Dell Optiplex desktop computer, which I purchased, used, and refurbished. It has 500 gigabytes of memory on the hard disk, and it came with 16 gigabytes of RAM, or random access memory, which I expanded to 32 gigabytes. Help work requires a lot of RAM because it loads the entire organ into memory when the program is started and you open one of the organ sample sets that you've downloaded. Here you see the organ that comes with the program, the St. Anne's Mosley organ. It's a modest two manual and pedal uh, instrument, but as you'll see in a few minutes, it does sound quite nice. I have two keyboards set up. One is a digital keyboard, a Yamaha that I already had in the house that I bought a few years ago for my kids, and it has a USB MIDI interface. And then I purchased this MIDI controller, another 61 note keyboard, for less than $100 on Amazon. I chose the Yamaha keyboard for the Swell because it has a built-in music stand. And then you can see I just built a little stand for it out of some spare plywood that I had laying around. Here is the pedal board. It's a 32 note Allen pedal board. Notice that the pedal board doesn't have any of the original wiring, but it does have the magnets on the backs of the keys. I purchased a switching system from Classic MIDI Works, which is a Canadian company, which, per which produces this scanner board which is attached to 32 different switches. These are reed switches, which have a switch on it that detects the magnetic field from the pedal keys. And the next step will be to attach this pe these pedal switches to a board that I can then screw into the back of the pedal board. It also comes with a, uh, switches that you can attach optionally to a swell pedal if you want to. To attach the scanner board to your computer, you'll need something like this. It's a five pin MIDI cable that has a USB output that you can plug into the computer. One mistake that I made that took me quite a long time to figure out is that the scanner board is labeled MIDI in and MIDI out and I simply matched the MIDI out and MIDI in cables to these ports. However, the MIDI output on the scanner board goes into the input cable on the MIDI USB interface. I purchased this bench from Bond Organ, courtesy of Joe O'Donnell. This bench is a little short for me, so I have it propped up on a couple of spare uh, two by fours that I had in the garage. Right now for sound, I have a pair of headphones and I have a pair of very cheap computer speakers, which I will be upgrading very soon. Okay, we have mounted the reed switches to a board and they're ready to be tested on the magnets on the pedal board. This is a program called MIDI Aux, which I can use to test the switches for the pedal board. And when I put the magnet in front of the keys, it shows that the note is going on and off as the key switch becomes in proximity to the magnetic field. Okay, it looks like we're all set. Let's see if we can make some music.